Hello everyone. Last video, I have explained the 32 channel power distribution box with energy meter and work with the home assistant and the hardware details, the diagram. And in this video, I will introduce you the software solution that use Kinkonis firmware and the Kinkonis software. Okay, let's look at what software will support and how it works. Let's look at our software solution. As you can see, this is 32 channel output and this is the A32 Pro relay controller, mainly controlled for this DC contact and this is a brick and this M30 that is energy meter and the first you can download the KCS firmware from our Kinkoni web page and after download the Kinkoni KCS firmware as you can see uh, this is a web page that you can visit IP address directly where you can find this IP address, uh, you can see the A32 Pro that will have a display, LCD display. You can see that have shared the two-year state that is online and the Ethernet IP address and the Wi-Fi IP address. And you can see that is Ethernet IP address at the second line. And you can see this is 3.16. So we can import this IP address. You can see at this web browser and maybe you can use a mobile phone or maybe you can use a computer just a web browser and log it so that you can see many different uh, web, web, uh, information at here in index home page and the import setting and the output setting and for interlock and out of and this is for RF uh, maybe you will use RF receive module and for remote country by F and this is sensor and this is monitor and you can see what protocol you have enabled. Uh, you can see we have connected with the Tuya and we have enabled the TCP server and also we can support the MQTT and HTTP and the UDP. So you can see all the state showed by this web page. You can see if I can turn on this one and this one you can see the red LED and you can see that you can create FTD command for FTD automation that is working locally and the network setting and if you have 4G module version so you can use the SMS and the notification and the voice call so this is very powerful and also you can see this is a protocol and the general protocol uh, maybe you can enable the MQTT you can see HTTP and the TCP and the UDP and this support RS-485 mode bus so this you can use this monitor and to control this all channel output and monitor the input without software, any software. So just use our web browser. This is the first software solution. And the second, you can see our country is support this Tuya. So you can use a Tuya mobile phone to remote country by internet. So you can see here, this is a Tuya, or you can use the Smart Life. And open this application. And you can see this A32 Pro and you will find uh, that have shared 32 channel switch and this is digital input, 4 channel digital input switch monitor the sensor state and this is dimmer, uh, 2 channel dimmer maybe you have connect with your dimmer uh, so there I have 2, two channel dimmer and you can see if I can turn on relay 1 uh, this is relay 1, it's on and this relay one is off. So this is used by the Tuya mobile phone application. This is remote country by internet. You can go to anywhere, just have the network. Okay, we close this software. And if you want use in local network, you can see you can use Kinkoni Kbox Smart because that will work in local network. If your internet is broken, you can see it's also very easy. Uh, just country by the local network. So you can see, I can click this channel one, on, off. So just to make sure you have enabled this TCP server generator and at here, because we have enabled this TCP server. So I just add this IP address and the port in this Kbox application. So you can see at here and this device. And you will see, uh, this is IP address and the port. You can see 4196 
and this one is 4196. So very easy, just use IPR and the port, you can add this device to KBox application. Okay, this is second. And the next, if you want to use your PC computer uh, to control this smart DB, uh, you can use our PC software. And you can see uh, that have a multi-board control for Windows PC. So just download this software. And here you can see that have also add this device by IP address and the part. So you can see, I can connect with it. Click, connect, and I can click on and click off. You can see, on and off. So this can control by the PC software. So at here, you can add many different smart DB. Uh, maybe you first floor have one DB, and the second floor have second DB, and the third floor have a third DB. So you just use this add and import this IP address and the part, and choose this relay board. Uh, for example, I can set uh, one IP address. And you can click add device. So you can see uh, this is second device at here. So you can click which one to country, uh, this one or this one. So it's very easy. You can list all different DB, different country at here. So you just click and at the right window so that you can control this corresponding DB. And also you can see I can close, disconnect it and use your right button of mouse, uh, you can see I can change the name, uh, such as light 1, light 2, and click or touch mode, and uh, the relay is on and off icon. You also can change by yourself, uh, just the uh, PNG file, uh, you can add the, uh, click this one, choose this one. You can design this your uh, icon at here, so just you can change anything. Okay, uh, this is a PC software. So you can see there are so many different solutions uh, for home assistant. And if you work in locally, you can use our KBox uh, mobile phone application, also support Android phone and uh, iPhone iOS application. And even if you, without any software, you just use the web browser to use this uh, smart TV. So. Also, if you want to write your own Arduino source code, uh, you can download by this USB port uh, that will support micro Python or Arduino IDE or ESP IDF development tools uh, to write your program code. If you don't want to write a program code, you just direct it to you, such as you use to your mobile phone. And also will support the Alexa Speak and the Google Home Speak because you have uh, used this to your mobile phone so that will link your account to Alexa and the Google Home account. So that will be used for voice country. Okay, this is the whole system, uh, the software and the hardware. If you want to know, understand the hardware, you can see our last video. We have explained many details of this diagram. Okay, thanks for watching.